Welcome back to Twin News 101, live on air. We are so happy to be here talking about schools. What questions are we going to talk about, Miss Lady Dorcas? The question we're going to talk about, we're not going to dive too into how scary it's going to be, but we're going to talk about what to pack and how to safely get there and what to not touch and what to do touch. Exactly. Let's start about, let's start our conversation about the lunches you should pack your kids during a pandemic. This is Kid News 101. Kid News 101. Welcome back. So, have you all been wondering what should I pack my kid to school lunch? Exactly. Okay. We know... In the year of 2018, 2017, 2012, when your child, your son, or your daughter has gone to school, you can pack them yummy food. I mean, you could as well still pack your, your, your son, your daughter, or your, um, your child yummy food during the pandemic. But what should I pack my child during a pandemic? We know we should have fluids, but that can get me wondering around of what I should pack my child. Have you all been wondering of what to pack your child? I bet it's easy to figure out. You should at least pack a healthy meal, like with salad or dressings or maybe something even better than that. Or you can also pick a healthy drink. But how do I eat safely in class? Hmm, we need to solve that. We need to figure that out. Okay. Remember, when you're packing your lunch, always incorporate water. Always incorporate salads, maybe salad rolls, and just add about one dessert. Just one dessert. Just one. Not too much. Just one sweet and a healthy dessert, okay? A few of those can be banana bread. That's really good. You just pack something healthy. It can even be just a short little tiny dessert. It can be a little candy, but not a, a lollipop. A lollipop can take lots of hard time to eat it, to suck. Okay. Let's start to get into the conversation of how do I eat in class when my desk aren't really six feet away. And we've seen our desk is in, in our school. I won't incorporate the name, but we've seen our desk is. They don't look as six feet away. We don't, we don't know how to stay safe. Let's keep on learning. Well, one thing we can incorporate by with our desk <laughs> is we can make sure we tell our teacher to say, will the virus spread over us? And we also need to have KN95 masks or N95 masks. Some people might get a mask and try to eat with their food under. Yum, 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 then put it away. It's not really the right thing to do. You don't really have to be frightened. Just, you gotta be safe. And yeah, at least need to wash your hands for 20 seconds, sing the ABC song twice, I mean once, or sing happy birthday twice for at least 20 seconds, or use hand sanitizer if soap and water isn't available with at least 60% of alcohol. Okay. Another, I want to also forewarn you again that if you see something in front, if you see someone skipping to wash their hand, if you see someone not have a mask, you have to tell a teacher. Tell a teacher. Don't be quiet. Make sure to tell a teacher. No, no, we're not. I, I actually want to forewarn you. Um, delete that all in your head. Um, I want to also forewarn you. If you see someone not washing their hands for 20 seconds, um, let's just use the not wash your hands. We don't want to get too deep in to get scared and nervous. Not rocking. But if you see someone not washing their hands, um, because obviously when you get back from recess or lunch, you'll hear a teacher say, wash your hands for 20 seconds. You maybe see the son once um, count to 20, sing the happy birthday song two times. And you may see someone just skip, go sit in their desk like they already did that. That's not good. You have to tell a teacher. Don't sit down acting like you don't know what they're doing. Acting like you don't know if you're doing the good thing or the right thing. you got to ask the teacher. It's the right thing to do. Correct? Correct. Okay. Going on. All schools will try to follow the safety precautions of what Phase 1, Phase 2, and Phase 3 will bring in. With the safety precautions, we can open, reopen schools, and us students or children can be back to school. And we recommend bringing the highest, and I mean the youngest kids first, and the highest will definitely need first top priority. 
It's really important that we try to get our parents and our teachers vaccinated. It will make us all safe in one big school district. But there's a problem with that. What's the problem? If none of us focus and if none of us follow the precautions um, of going to school in safety, we will have to end going to school and we'll have to start getting into the mode of distant learning. Uh huh. How many people, um, let's not see the school, but how many people in our school, I'm not going to say the name, voted for yes and no? Tell me. 70%, 70% adults voted hybrid and 20% voted distance. But there were still about maybe 300 more parents that didn't respond to the survey. So teachers should be calling those parents and asking them to answer the survey. But we can all see that most parents did fake hybrid. <laughs> Okay, that is really important, and I think of this, people, I, I see people saying, I want to go to school, but you have to follow the precautions. Remember to wear a mask. No wearing those type of cowboy hats, the ones that are down. Don't wear those ones. Those ones are cool. You can't go to school in our school with those. Remember to wear kind of the blue mask is, or either wear a K95 mask, a 9 to 5 mask. Those ones are really safe. Um, and it will stop the spread and stop preventing the spread of coronavirus, also known as COVID-19. If all schools can follow the safety precaution everywhere, we will all be able to go back to school and everyone will be able to go back to school safely reopening. Unless there's an emergency, we might have to virtually do school and make it flexible for the teachers to go back virtually. We know that some students might remain with their last teacher or some students must be with their new teacher, but most teachers are doing remain with their last teacher due to not spreading the virus. We also recommend you don't come in close contact with a friend because you don't know if they're sick or not. You should be at least six, at least six, peop, at least six feet apart from that person. And you should always have your mask at all times unless you're eating at lunch or unless you have to take it off. But you at least need to have it on. Moving our conversation. Okay, what's the next thing we should talk about? We have to think, think. We've talked about how to stay safe during school. I think we've talked about packing our lunch, correct? Not really. Um, not really. Well, let's talk about um, back to school lunches. You think that's a nice one? Let's, let's talk to back to school lunches, okay? Ready. And let's talk about the lunch boxes that you child should be getting. Okay. Some children might pick men's boxes, but usually the lunch boxes that have the great containers are the ones with the best. Actually, many people love to pack lunches, and usually they don't have hot lunch. Usually, since changing tradition from virtual to hybrid, we want to probably pack our own lunches to probably stop the spread of lining up. So maybe if you pack your own lunch, it will probably make a big difference to the school of having lunch. Um... To all people who have hot lunches and to all people who um, have school give you lunch, try to reduce, okay? Try try to pack your own lunches to stop the spread because there's another problem. This is another important problem. Do you know when you're going to school and you're packing your lunch and how you're going to talk to say, my name is Silva, you know when those people? Yeah. Yes, I do. Yes, you exactly do. But do you know how when you're getting your lunch and you're touching the spoon, you're packing your lunch, do you know how you're going to talk to those people who serve your lunch? How are you going to be six feet away? Are they going to have these little lines? And if there are other people behind you and you want to turn around to get your milk, how safe is that? Here's the kicker. If you try to pack your own lunch, that is 100% more safer than going to get your own hot lunch, cold lunch at school. So... The best, perfect way to stay safe at doing your lunch is to pack your own lunch. Jarvis. Pack me. <coughs> we'll be back after this quick break. Da da da. Boo 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 boo. Da da da. Boo boo. News reporter, Twin Tastic Newsroom 101. We'll be back as soon as possible. Please watch this ad. 
Introducing the new Casio Piano! The Wii U 200 plays the best sounds as possible. Turn it on, it works. We have the main volume, the mid volume, present scale, you have a recorder, rhythm editor, and a teacher just in this awesome piano ever in planet and earth. Please enjoy this piano and has a teacher just for you without paying any money. Get this piano at Target or at the Walmart at the Amazon shop. Thank you. Casio Piano. Wipes. Wipes. Big win. Disinfectant wipes. Kill 99% of bacteria in 15 seconds. It kills staph, salmonella, and E. coli. Bleach feet kills cold and flu viruses. Five big win. Disinfect wipes at Target or Walmart. Available in stores now. Miss Pedoodles, joining Miss Pedoodles, joining with me now. Hello, Miss Pedoodles. How do you think we can safely be able to go back to school? Okay. Hello. First of all, I want to start by saying thank you so, so much, Ms. Dorcas. So happy to be here. Woohoo! Turn on one dance, Kate Bradley. Okay, how we can see if we go back to school? Let's start with this. How about we start by following the precautions? Wearing a mask, washing our hands for 20 seconds. But there's a problem. What about when we're getting lunches? Well, we start to sit down in the cafeteria. But what about when we're eating our lunch? <laughs> right? Okay, here's how to safely get ready in a pandemic after school. Number one, if you see a teacher coming with you or a friend turning around, wear your mask like this one and then just chew your food. Chew your food and have the mask cover you. <laughs> so remember to wear a mask if you have food in your mouth and it's really tiny just wear your mask if someone's coming now another two avoid getting your school lunch avoid getting lunches from your school oh, um, make sure to always pack your lunch in, definitely in a pandemic because some people can be really close to you because there's going to be a line in our school. I won't introduce the name. Also, some teachers may not have those little shielders, which can be our school. I won't introduce the name. So try to pack your lunch and, and decrease the terms of getting your school lunch. It can be dirty and it can be raw. Back to you, Dorcas. Are face shields actually safe for school? And which one are safe for school? Coming up with me, Miss Lupa. Thank you. Have a great resume. Thank you so much. And have a great resume. Thank you. Thank you so, so much. Bye. Bye. Should you go back to school? What, what mask should you wear? And how do you stay safe? safe? Coming up next, Miss Lupa. Hello, Miss Lupa. Welcome to the newsroom. Hi, welcome. I'm so glad you're here. This channel of Kid Newsroom rocks! Woo -woo! Right. Go ahead. Okay. So now, yeah. should you go back to school? Here's the answers coming from the CDC. Yes, you should. Only one condition. You will stop going back to school if you don't follow the terms of the COVID-19 pandemic and the variant. Wear your mask, wash your hands for at least 20 seconds, be, be at least six feet away. And if this COVID-19 variant comes, you, you can still, it can be still more deadly. And you can get it even if you're six feet. So we'll just have talk that in uh, other news next time. Focusing because the COVID-19 variant is not here. Or is it here? It is here. It is here. Okay. Wear K95 mask. But should I go back to school? Of course. If your child is getting kicked out all the time, getting the work sent back, maybe having a teacher that sends out the work all the time, back, click the back button, back, click the back button, go back to school. 
is the only easy and fun way to learn. We can go back to school if we get our children following the terms. We can get our children back to school now. You can stop the variants. You can stop the virus. It's so easy. Just wear your mask, wash your hands. But if none of us is going to pay attention, wash our hands, wear a mask, we are going to have this forever, nonstop. We have to wear our mask. We have to do the right thing. And if none of us is going to wear the mask, and if none of us is going to wash our hands, and if you're going to keep on going to the store every day without a mask, you're, you're, you're going to be one of them. You're going to be the person who is going to be in the CNN newsroom or other Fox Nation. You're going to have a line, and it's going to say one person in for the COVID-19. Back to you, Dorcas. Thank you for joining us today. And we would like to stop um, right now, and we will see you all tomorrow or another day. Yes, um, arrow, 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 there's a little problem. What's the problem? Well, the problem is, will we make another news upstairs? We well, probably will, but this has to upload first. Okay. Coming back with the main um, your sister, Sylvia. Thank, Thank you, you so much for letting me join you. That was very great to see how people are incorporating with this. Thank you for watching Twin News 101 Newsroom Live. Wash your hands, stay safe, save lives. Thank you for joining Twin News 101, and most people get their news from you. Thank you. Then other news sources. Most people get their twins. <laughs> most people get their news from Twin 101 than, than, every, than any other news source. Thank you. Thank you for joining Thank you for joining us today again, and we will see you all next time. What do we say? Stay, stay safe. safe. Save lives. And mask up. Mask up, and we say, don't let your girl down. Let them go up. Up, up, up. up Thank up, you. Up. Don't let them up. Don't let, let them up, not down. Don't let them down. Let them up. Thank you. Thank you. Have an amazing rest Have a day. day. Boo, 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 boo. 11.40 p.m. Pacific time. Thank you. Bye.